Hi guys, my name is Lester. Today I will be walking you guys through my ebook for portfolio. I found several overarching themes in my body of work in this three year architecture journey. I established my practice by asking myself which way of designing architecture I'm really into, by challenging the traditional methods of evaluating and creating architecture, by embracing and collaborating with new materials such as software and algorithms. These ideas were constantly popping out in my works. I would say sometimes they were subtle, but I would try to pinpoint them and digest them along the way. This ebook will essentially follow a process flow diagram containing various works at different stages. They are roughly arranged in a chronological order because the evolution of thoughts and skill sets are important for me to evaluate progress and workflows in a certain period of time. Because a large portion of my works were rendered in 3D models, so, to fully communicate the potential of the architecture I design, this ebook will not only contain traditional book format to showcase drawings and imageries, it will also have animation and video clips to display some of its formal qualities. Phase 0 My architectural journey started my time at the UNSW Foundation. My primary way of conveying my design was making physical models. This was my first time getting in touch with a lot of classic design concepts, such as the positive and negative spaces in the sculptures and some of the architectural elements. You can also see the focal point being displayed using assembly of letters. Throughout my modeling procedure, I found myself tend to use sequence of numbers and set of models to assemble my design. I had a strong interest of the idea in emergence which describes small things form bigger things that have different properties than the sum of their parts. And the process of setting rules for design seemed to give hints to the interests I would have in the future studies. The great chapter marks my first encounter with architecture at RMIT. The drawing practice at one of the foundation studios in Melbourne helped me to have a first glance at what architectural drawings are like. It makes me realize that architecture is a complex subject and it takes a lot of effort to communicate the information you want to convey. The model making in the studio Babylon destroyed my perception of architecture that is only about form and function. Architecture has a far more complex and diverse dimension to it. It can be about pure aesthetic, artistic value, literal, cinematic experience, and even philosophical thinking. The studio Nowhere was my first encounter with 3D modeling software. However, it also challenged me to make the transition from digital information into physical elements. The introduction of 3D modeling tools made me question my ignorance on the possibilities of making and visualizing architecture. It also made up new spectrums for me to have a playground to experiment with technologies and later carry me into the world of algorithms and programming. Communication 2 So my first recreation of a piece of built architecture However, the cinematic cyber scheme I chose to present my project posed question about the relationship between machines and humans in the future. The executive was the first urban-related course, and it was also the first to introduce me large numbers of contemporary architectural precedents. With the mutation of its historical value and urban emergence, I used pantry operation and sculpting techniques to imagine a future dystopian city which can reflect my own emotional expression and dialogues of my own imaginary world. The project Duality is about a simulation of a future city where it needs to survive in a harsh environment. A bubble-like structure has been created to protect the city inside, providing shelters for the citizens to live in. Communication 3 challenged me to define authorship by using scripts written by others. The outcome was generated by weaving two algorithms together to create visual distortion, therefore generating new aesthetics. Phase 1 Render Invisibles Visible In this chapter, my attention shifted towards a more generative approach upon architecture. Parametric design for me is more about designing a system to generate all kinds of different possible outcomes form finding rather than form dictating. It's more like a manifesto that challenges traditional way of designing architecture. It allows the designers to find new methodologies and typologies. In the early experiments, 
you can clearly see the use of simple assembly frames and generic voxels as media to communicate form and composition. This further emphasizes the notion of data in 3D space and its role in the parametric design process. It's less about the final form, it's more about the translation of each step and sequence of iterations. I established authorship by designing small chunks and so-called modules, and only use the algorithm to aggregate them in a particular way to form large urban fabrics. It's a conversation talking about a symbiosis future where the programs of architecture might shift towards an equal position for both machines and humans. It might only contain spaces for machines, challenging the perception that architecture is only built for humans. The GSC city is about a city that has a metabolic process, a city that deconstructs itself and reconstructs itself from time to time, assigning different programs to itself based on different scenarios. The future cities are ruining themselves. All the cities were disassembled and destroyed at some point, and rebuilt themselves like a circle. Utilizing the multi-layered distribution logic and multi-agent system, a high-resolution city is formed. Do androids dream of digital sheep? Do bots dream of digital buildings? In Fake Lab, we try to use algorithms to challenge the stereotypes and perception of architecture. The notion of style would be translated into data sets and different photos or pictures by using machine vision, which means the computer had a higher level of decision-making power. You can clearly see the image being named fake, which is a post-process image by the cyclegan algorithm, and those named real, which are the original inputting ones. You can clearly see an interconnected relationship between the two. It created authorship because the careful curation of the input images and the pictures needed to train the algorithm. In that process, we created an echo chamber which could shoot out designs by itself. Designers take a role in the backseat by becoming the curator rather than forcing top-down control into the design works. It becomes more apparent during the modeling process, even though the modeling was done manually. It still resembles those uncanny moments from the cyclegan imagery. Phase 2 The historical investigation in reworking the library reinforced my appreciation and understanding architecture as a complex subject. My focus kind of shifts into practicing a workflow, which could express ideas embedded with emotion using rational methods, such as layering of scripts, repetition and assembly of parts. The experiments with imaginary libraries so the first few attempts to visualize architectural spaces using generative methods and the reference of the architectural movement such as metabolism. The library becomes a complex, which is injected with multiple architectural precedents and multiple levels of algorithms. The referencing to the Hoover, designed by Louis Kahn, marked the first time I reached the duality moment of both historical and technical. It achieves a symbiosis relationship between the architectural reference and sequence of modeling techniques. Throughout the course, I have been struggling to take authorship in my works, especially those involving programs and scripts developed by others. I couldn't really claim them as my own unique creations. I want to establish authorship by writing my own algorithms and programs in Ouroboros. In the process of learning programming languages, I try to study a new way of understanding how word making process works in the digital format. And by practicing that, I develop a way to evaluate my works. By judging whether something has sufficient post processing and iterative steps to satisfy as my own unique works. In conclusion, the making of this ebook has taken me back to a lot of things happened in my architectural journey. The process of connecting the dots backwards reminds me of what my practice is about and a lot of details which leads me to the route I'm currently taking, breaking my conception of architecture numerous times, but it also rebuilds new concepts about those intentionally unbuilt architecture which were showing up frequently along the way. It constantly reminds me that architecture is always that inclusive and extensive profession. It's more about extending the possibilities for architecture rather than sealing it up. That's all for this ebook. Thank you very much.